Welcome to week two of Meet the Players, where each week we spotlight one Rams player so that you, the roadie fan, can learn more about these rising stars of the gridiron. This week I had a chance to speak with junior defensive back Donovan Walker. Walker hails from Yonkers, New York, where he played ball for Roosevelt High School. He earned the All-Decade and All-State honors while at Roosevelt and led his team to the state championships in 2010. In his first season with the Rams, Walker comes to Rhodey as a transfer out of Dean College, where this impressive back had 70 tackles and 30 breakups and led Dean to its first Valley of the Sun championships, as well as the Northeast Conference Championships in 2011. Donovan, can you tell the public where you're from, where you went to high school, and your journey here to URI? Um, I'm originally from um, New York, Westchester, New York. Um, I went to Roosevelt High School out in um, Yonkers, New York. Um, my journey was pretty hard. Um, a lot of a lot of people deal with a lot of adversity. I mean, so it's like I went through going to um, school freshman year. I didn't think I was going to be an athlete. So I think everybody when they start off high school, they just go through their fresh coast, coast through their freshman year, come out with a bad GPA, everything. My junior year is when I figured out that I I'm able to do this. So. I was doing everything possible, trying to get my grades up, trying to do this, trying to do that. My SAT scores was not up to par. I had to um, get a, a personal tutor. My high school coach, Coach Mead, he, he got me a, a personal tutor. I stayed every day after practice, every day when everybody was going home in the springtime. I had to stay there and grind so I could get my GPA, but that wasn't even good enough. I had to go to junior college out in Massachusetts. And when I got there, my freshman year, I didn't think I was going to be able to play because I transferred from one position to the next position, and I didn't think that it was going to be, I was going to be good enough. But my coach out in junior college, Coach Vasey, he, he saw something in me, and he, he pushed me to uh, keep trying and keep, keep going forward. That's, that's how I ended up here now. Now, obviously, you said you were a junior college transfer from Dean. You know, you're already off to a great start here at URI, but talk about the transition. It must have been very difficult to move from college to college. Um, how are you coping so far? Um, it was pretty difficult. When I first came here last semester, spring, I didn't really know anybody. You know, I, I'm pretty much a shy guy, so, but my teammates here, this is why I like this place, because the team here, everyone's a family. Everyone walks around, we carry each other around, we joke around. The coaches are saying, just like the players, we can relate to the coaches, they like to talk to us and everything. So it wasn't, it wasn't that hard switching from that school to this school. Well, I, I can say that I, I, I like this place better. To get you through all of this was your family. Talk a little bit about maybe your brothers and sisters that you have and who really inspired you to play football. Um, when I was younger, I wasn't really the person to, to play football. You know, I was always a basketball kid. But as I started getting older, my older brother, Latif, he, he, he played football. So I used to always watch him like, oh, yeah, I want to play football like him. And then I know everybody knows Sean Taylor. I used to watch Sean Taylor all the time. He was a big big guy, played safety for the Redskins, went to the University of Miami. Just watching him just made me want to play football and play defense. That's exactly why I play defense now. And um, as I keep going and keep training in the summer when I'm not able to be at school, I'm training hard, training hard with my with my cousin Chris Davis. And, and it's just like, he's just pushing me and just keep pushing me like, you're going to do this, you're going to do this. Just keep working hard. And, and without people like that, you can't, you can't do anything. And then I have my mother and my father that's always there backing me up. I don't, I don't have anybody backing out backing out of this route with me so I have all my family my close friends just 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 on the route with me so now obviously you said one of your favorite players is from the Redskins is that the team that you may want to be on in the future who's your favorite NFL team my favorite NFL team is the Colts it has been um, ever since um, Sean Taylor passed away may he rest in peace um, because of Peyton Manning that is now currently my favorite player in the um, NFL it has been for a couple of years now um, but he, he transferred to, he's doing the Broncos now, so I'm still a Colts fan, but, you know, uh, I, I represent the Broncos as well. So. All right, now, what do you like to do in your spare time when you're not practicing? Honestly, I don't, I don't like to, to go out and party and stuff like that. You'll see, you'll see me in my room sometimes playing a game or just chilling with a couple roommates or something like that. On my spare time, sometimes I'll go up and watch a couple films that's not even on a week that's not even coming up on if I was on Sunday and we have a game on Saturday I'll still come in and peek on some film for the next opponent you know mm -hmm. and um just just relax you know get some food get, get off my feet so I'm able to play the next week and to end the interview tell the folks at home an interesting fact about yourself that most people don't know oh um I I mean everybody know pretty much everything about me but interesting fact uh 
I don't even know. Uh, I'm more on. I'm more of an R&B R&B guy than a hip hop guy. I'm not soft though. <laughs> All right. Thank you. All right.